say, when you go to McDonald's for all those good things to eat and drink, be sure you stop and think about what to do when you're through. Don't forget to feed the wastebaskets, because they're hungry, too. That's right, we are. And we'd like to ask a favor of you. Would you mind letting us have the paper, please, when you're through? It's a special little treat when we get to eat the paper. Yes, indeed. So if you've got a cup or a napkin or bag, could mail them a hamburger or uh, hang french fries on the tree, but there's an easier way. McDonald's 50 cent gift certificates. You buy them at your McDonald's, and they're just like real money. You mail them or give them to someone you like. They can take them to any participating McDonald's and buy what they want. That's right. Whoever you give these gift certificates to can buy hamburgers or french fries or Cokes or any of McDonald's good food. Isn't that a good idea? Two all beef patties, special sauce, cheese, lettuce, pickles, onions, and a sesame seed bun. Get the idea? Two all beef patties, special sauce, lettuce, cheese, pickles, onions, and a sesame seed bun. Is it just me? Or is it getting crazier out there? It is certainly tense. Have you been keeping up with your sleep schedule? Yes, ma'am. I was wondering if you could ask the doctor to increase my medication. Arthur, you're on seven different medications. I don't think you need any more. I don't know if I told you this, but um, I'm trying to become a chef, professional chef. I don't think you told me that. I think I did. I just don't want to feel so bad anymore. To be honest, I think I actually felt better locked up in the hospital.
already told you. No, I can't. Hey, Grimace. Hey, man, I heard about you getting jumped the other night. Bullshit. No, it's fine. It was just a bunch of kids. They were just having fun. Here. I got you a little something. You may need it. Take it. Take it. Trust me. Grimace, I'm not supposed to have a gun. Hey, Arthur, you know you're my boy. Just be careful, okay? Okay. Right. You show him that thing, you get all the Big Macs you want. burgers from your restaurant. I know you're a hot and juicy redhead. I know. Dang, Arthur, you're so good at that. Yeah, I'm a pretty good fry cook. But he's not. Coming! Did I just hear a gunshot? Uh, no, no. Oh, well that's too bad. I was hoping you'd come and rob the place. I have a gun. Maybe I'll come by tomorrow. <laughs> You're so funny, Arthur. Hey, so I was thinking, um, I I'd like to, um, I'd like to take you out sometime. If that's okay with you. Yeah, I'd like that. Great. Bye. Rob, see you tomorrow. Oh. 
Some whoppers, I got some. <laughs> some funny asshole.
Are, are you Arthur? Yes, why? Hello, I'm Detective Colonel Sanders. This is Detective Carl's Jr. You can call me Hardys. Uh, may we ask you a few questions? Yeah, sure. Go ahead. Do you know anything about the subway murders? Apparently there's a clown dressed as a Ronald McDonald. What does that have anything to do with me? And it just so happens you got fired from being Ronald McDonald just the other day. Yeah, but... Those days are over with. I mean, I'm a new man now. So is this laughing thing part of your act or something, or what? I don't know. Did you just come from a 70s porno? You said this outfit looked good. That looks fun. Anyways, I have a date to get to. Ouch. Yeah, those banana pills will do it to you. I don't think you did anything wrong. Those Burger King guys had it coming. Fuck Burger King. Burger King's gross anyways. Have a good night, everybody, and always remember, that's life. Why work for a clown when you can work for a king? Arthur Fleck, Dr. Hoyt will be right with you. Thank you. So listen, ladies and gentlemen, we all love fast food, right? Of course we do. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, in this case, the food critic wasn't all too pleased with this one, Ronald McDonald. Roll the clip. All right, uh, tell us your name. Hi, my name is Arthur otherwise known as Ronald McDonald. Okay, I just have to say, I, I just have to say one thing, okay? Um, so pretty much, this might be the absolute worst burger I've ever had in my entire life. <laughs> no, that's, that's not true. Why are you saying that? It's not true. That's all I'm saying, okay? Look, it's, oh, of it's course, not necessarily of course, a horrible... you're a food critic, so you say, okay, look. Oh, that burger is disgusting. You're, you're a horrible chef. You suck, Ronald. You can say that again, pal. Ronald, 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 relax, 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 okay? This good, I hit the spot at all. It's not true. Is it that funny? Hey, I just have to say, 
that that might be the worst burger I've ever had in my entire life. Um, not to mention that he had a weird attitude with him, and I just have to say that um, he might very well be the worst Ronald McDonald in the entire country. That's all I have to say about that. But um, yeah, other than that, uh, nothing really good came out of it. It was absolutely horrible. That Let me make it up to you. I'll cook you some burgers. No one likes your burgers. Why would they think that? It's just the truth, I'm sorry. <laughs> I wanna be Ronald McDonald, Dad. You gotta be a clown and a king, huh? Huh? <laughs> Be a clown, huh? <laughs> huh? Gross food? Arthur, right? You live next door? Listen, I'm babysitting this kid. You can't be here. I had a bad day. Listen, I like McDonald's, but you gotta go, man. Yeah, of course. Okay, great. Okay. See you then.
Okay. See you then. Okay, folks, tonight I have a big surprise. All the way from London, Mr. Carter Matthews. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. I mean, it's it's an honor to be here tonight, really. I really mean it. Is that British accent? Thanks so much for having me on the... Are you really from London? Of course I'm British. Thanks so much for having me on the show, Murray. Why not not be British? It's been a lifelong dream of mine. <laughs> no, yeah, I'm, I'm actually British. Okay, so tell us the story about making a four-wheel Uh, yes, of course. Well, um... Hey, Murray, it's been a life. Oh, what's that? Oh, you're very funny, Murray. You know, I'm a comedian too. Would you like to hear a joke? Yeah? All of you? Okay. Knock, knock. Knock, knock. That's life. That's life. That's what all the people say. You're riding high in April, shot down in May. But I know I'm gonna change that tune. When I'm back on top, back on top in June. I said that's life. That's life. And as funny as it may seem, some people get their kicks. Stomping on a dream But I don't let it Let it get me down Cause this fine old world It keeps spinning around I've been a puppet A pauper, a pirate, a poet A pawn and a king I've been up and down And over and out And I know one thing Each time I find Oh, hey, Arthur. How you doing? Oh, hey, Grimace. Brought you a little something. Come on in. Presenting a day in the life of Ronald McDonald. We find Ronald in bed, his alarm clock about to go off. Hey, Arthur. I brought you this. I heard that your mom passed away. No. Your father? No. Your sister? No. Your neighbor? Yeah, yeah. What's with the face? I'm doing all the Murray Franklin show tonight, so I'm kind of celebrating. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, uh, you know, Arthur, these uh, two detectives came by the house asking about this clown or something that shot these guys, these Burger King guys on the subway. You know, it's just no. A little nervous that maybe you said yeah, something. Yeah, I, uh, <clears throat> I feel good, you know? Yeah, I stopped taking my medication. I feel a whole lot better. Hey, Arthur, you, you know you're my boy, right? So the, the Mario Franklin show, that's good, that's good, Arthur. You're moving up. Oh, I said you're just gonna make something of yourself one day, but uh, anyway, if the cops come around, 
It's McDonald's Big Mac. You've got to taste it to believe it. Should be. You all beef patties, special sauce, lettuce, cheese, pickles, onions, and a sesame seed bug. You all beef patties. Come sip yours, McDonald's Big Mac. You all beef patties, special sauce, lettuce, cheese, pickles, onions, and a sesame seed bug. You Two old beef patties, special sauce, lettuce, cheese, pickles, onions, and a sesame seed bug. Lettuce, cheese, cheese, pickles, onions, lettuce, uh, cheese, pickles, onions, oh, what am I saying? You deserve a break today. <laughs> oh, I hate bad hair days. I'll fix you. <laughs> oh, 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 come on, give me a best shot. There, that's much better. I agree, we look awesome. Mask off. Take it off now. Arthur, stop! sightings in the communities and as such are being thoughtful in respect to Ronald McDonald's participation in community events. Murray? It's Mr. Frank. That's bullshit. It's Murray. Hey. What's with the face? Oh, it's it's nothing. I just wanted to be in character, you know, make people laugh. I told you this wasn't going to work. No, it, it's going to work. Okay, we're going to have a clean show. Nothing crazy, okay? No okay. profane language. All right. All right. We're going to have a good, clean show. Sounds great. 
See you out there, kid. Uh, Murray, one small thing. Yeah. When you bring me out, can you introduce me as Ronald? What's wrong with your real name? That's what you called me on your show, Ronald McDonald. Do you remember? Ronald McDonald? That's fine. It'll work. It'll work. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a guest tonight, a clown you might know. Now this clown has served over five billion people. However, folks, he made one critic hate him for life. And it wasn't as funny as he made it out to me. But he's here tonight with us. I want you to put your hands together for Mr. Ronald McDonald. Well, that was quite an entrance you had there. Are you okay? This is exactly the way I pictured it. Well, that makes one of us. <laughs> so tell us about this look. When we spoke earlier, you said it was part of your act? That's right, Murray. It's nothing bad. I'm just, I'm trying to make people hungry. And how's that going for you? <laughs> so you said you wanted to be a chef? Could you uh, whip us up something right now? Well, not tonight, Murray. I, it's, to be honest, it's, it's been a rough few weeks. <laughs> Ever since I killed those three Burger King guys. <laughs> okay, I'm waiting for the punchline. There is no punchline. It's not a joke. So you're telling me you killed those three Burger King guys. And why should we believe you? I've got nothing left to lose. Nothing can hurt me anymore. <laughs> My life is nothing but a comedy. So let me get this straight. You think killing those three Burger King guys is funny? I do. And I'm tired of pretending it's not. Food is subjective, Murray. Isn't that right? All of you, the system that knows so much, you decide what's right or wrong. The same way you decide what's delicious or not. So I understand you did this to start a movement to be a symbol? Oh, come on, Murray. Do I look like the type of clown that could start a movement? I killed those three Burger King guys because they were awful. Everybody is awful these days. It's enough to make anyone crazy. So that's your defense for killing those three young men. You're crazy? No. They couldn't cook a burger to save their lives. Oh, why is everybody so upset about these guys? If it was me dying on the sidewalk, you'd walk right over me. I pass you every day and you don't notice me. Well, because the Burger King went crying about these three guys on TV. So you have a problem with the Burger King? Yes, I do. Have you seen what it's like out there, Murray? Do you ever actually leave the studio? Everybody just yells and screams at each other. Nobody's civil anymore! Nobody thinks what it's like to be the other guy. You think men like the Burger King ever thought what it's like to be somebody but themselves? To be somebody like me? They don't. They think that we'll just sit there and take it like good little boys. That we will werewolf and go wild! You finished? Sounds like you're trying to make an excuse for killing those young men. Not everybody, and I'm telling you, not everybody is awful. You're awful. 
Oh, me. I'm awful? How awful? Playing my video. Inviting me on the show. You just wanted to make fun of me. You're just like the rest of you them. You don't know the first thing about me, pal. Look what's happened out there because of you. There's looting. People are stealing food. There's killing. And two policemen are in critical condition because of you. And you're laughing? You're laughing. You're laughing. I know. How about another joke, Murray? No, you know what? We've had enough of your jokes. What are you when you cross nope. Ronald McDonald in a society that abandons him nope. and treats him like trash? Call the police, James. Call I'll the tell police. you what you are. You are what you fucking need. <laughs> Good night, and always remember, ba da ba ba ba, I'm Breaking news tonight, Murray Franklin shot dead on live TV by child favorite Ronald McDonald. Ronald McDonald kills Murray Franklin tonight on live TV. The whereabouts are unknown right now. You have to read this story. Now he's one of the most recognizable faces to children worldwide. That's right, he claims it's hurting Ronald McDonald. He should still be clear how long while it's hiatus. Always remember. Ba da ba ba ba. I'm loving it. Stop laughing, you freak. This isn't funny. Yeah, the whole fucking city's on fire because of it. I know. Isn't it delicious?
<laughs> What's so funny? I was just thinking of... I was thinking of a joke. <laughs> Do you want to tell it to me? You wouldn't get it. That's life. That's life. And as funny as it may seem, some people get their kicks. Stopping on a dream But I don't let it Let it get me down Cause this fine old world It keeps spinning around I've been a puppet A pauper A pirate A poet A pawn and a king I've been up and down And over and out And I know one thing Each time I'm gonna roll myself up in a big ball and die. My, my. Is it? Are we a pair? Me here at last on the ground, you in midair. Where are the clouds? Isn't it bliss? Don't you approve? Keeps tearing around One who can't move Where are the clouds? There ought to be clouds Just when I'd start Opening doors Finally again with my usual flame sure of my lies no one is there don't you love Send in the clouds.
Don't bother 